Hi there. Welcome to my virtual classroom. Today, in a very brief video, I would like to discuss with you the differences between the term data versus information versus knowledge. Welcome back again. So let's have a conversation about data versus information versus knowledge. So let's first look at data. Now, in its rawest form, data is really just digits or maybe in something that we can relate to, it's words and numbers. And often you'll find that data might be a long list of columns and rows of words and numbers. And it's often in the form of a matrix, organized in a matrix, I mean. Now, it will also be stored within a database or it could simply be a spreadsheet or a file. Essentially, the main, the main point of data is that data by itself does not have any meaning. So we can't really do anything with the data just in those very raw forms. However, there's a lot of potential for us to use data to create information. So let's jump to the next term to understand what information is. So information is really where we take the data and we transform it in some way. The most common way would be we might run queries or calculations or a system will just produce a report for us. Now that report contains meaning, some form of logical meaning, but essentially it's based on the data. So all information really is, is meaningful data. And it's important to therefore realize that information is dependent on data. And you know how they someone sometimes say garbage in, garbage out? That's what they mean. Information is dependent on data. So if your data is of poor quality, what comes out once you've processed that data will also be of poor quality. Now let's quickly look at the last term. What does knowledge then mean in this context? So knowledge is really information plus experience that creates knowledge. So if you are, for example, presented with a very useful report that contains information about sales within the technology space, and you have no experience of what to do with that information, you've got no background, you've never seen it before, and you just simply don't have any prior experience in this area, then you might be, you will have very limited knowledge essentially, because information, you might have a lot of information, but without the experience, the knowledge will not be very good. However, if you do have a lot of experience, maybe you've run a sales team before, or you've worked within technology for a very long time, you can combine that experience with this good quality information you've received, and your knowledge will in fact be very strong. So knowledge is really just where you layer on top of the information, some experience. So in a nutshell, to keep this really short and brief, we need data in order to create information. Then we use our experience with the information to build knowledge. So that in a nutshell is the differences between data, information and knowledge. You can probably now see why it's quite useful to understand these concepts if you work within projects in technology especially, or even just in business, because data is so widespread these days. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel if you wanted to get a bit more of these types of videos coming your way. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.